Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's continue on into the spiky rocks. Past our gemstone friend. Thank you for the laser beam. Oh! What the fuck? I thought there was more ground there. <laughs> uh. What is this? Underground tomb, except visions of death? What's underneath here? Well, nothing really on the underground level, but we know that there can be an in-between that doesn't show up on the map. A dung ahead. Eh, let's do it. Goodbye to that, Glowstone. Gelmere Hero's Grave. The Beast Eye Quivers. Run around Tomb. First off, turn back. But this is very suspicious. I do hear something through there. Hmm. Try turn back. Dung ahead. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Trap ahead, look carefully. Pointing down. Do you mean the lava, or...? <laughs> I don't really have to look carefully to see that. Well, this whole thing looks totally like a trap. Like, there's probably gonna be a ball that's gonna roll down here. Or something. How did you die? Oh, oh, it's coming up. Oh, it's one of those things. Oh, wait, I'm alive. I'm alive. Have to get it when it goes up. Gotcha. They get re-killed from the lava.
Ooh. The thing is, we know we can walk on lava, like, pretty much fine. So I'm kind of inclined to figure out what's down there. But I don't know. First, let's see what's over here. I guess. Just gardeners tending to the glove warts. How did you hear me? Go left. What if there's something up there, though? See, I knew there'd be something up here. Oh, I thought it was going to come all the way, so I just went for it. So devious the way it actually changes the areas it patrols. And now I can check out what's down there in the lava.
I bet there's something down here. And yeah, I don't think that thing's gonna follow me down here. It's a glove ward over there, but I don't care that much. I don't use them. there'd be something. Ringed finger. It's a, is that a weapon? It's a hammer? Claw flick is the special. 15 strength, 9 dex. Bludgeon made of an enormous finger sheathed in several heavy rings, thought to have been cut from an ancestor of the finger creeper. Some life yet remains in this legacy of an ancient act of blasphemy as evidenced by the barely perceptible warmth it still exudes. Ew. Claw flick. Cause the finger to swell, then flex to build up strength before giving enemies an almighty flick. What? Okay, let's try that. Gross. Curious if it like twitches at all since it's still apparently kind of alive. Strong attack. Just like standard, I, I think standard hammer attacks. Okay, but let's do the flick. Ew. What the fuck? I want... That is so gross. I wonder if it acts as a super kick or something? That is seriously disgusting. What did it say about that? Flexed build up strength for gaming? Yeah, okay. I thought maybe it was talking about like some special attack if I do another input, additional input, but I don't think so. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, I definitely want to try flicking an easy enemy just to see if it acts as a kick. clear it out a bit before I test it. It did flick them. Not sure if it's acting as a kick or not. Well, I don't think that weapon is very me. Oh god. Did the uh I think the trap stopped. No it didn't. Oh it's in a different place, it's fine. No, no it's not fine. 
Hey, at least I'm invulnerable while I'm getting eaten by a shadow bug. That's fine. I saw a note down here. Maybe that's how it happened to them too. <laughs> yes, kill the shadow bug. No healing left. Oh, right. I have a laser beam. Bloodhound Knight, Helm, Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. Oh wow, two full sets of armor? Gelmir, Helm, Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. Hmm. We're well, definitely not going to wear most of that stuff, but I am just curious what it looks like. Let's look at the descri descriptions too. The Gelmir Knight Armor. Armor worn by knights once r r loyal to Praetor Rikard. It bears an emblem that none wear any longer, standing as it does for a lord that fell from lofty ambition into gluttonous depravity. As the lord lost his dignity, so too did these knights lose their master. And Bloodhound Knight Armor. Metal armor with a jutting breastplate. The Bloodhound Knights are trained as hunters and known to be unshakable trackers. Without the use of language, each knight chooses his own master. Once the decision has been made, the knight stays loyal for life. Just like a doggy. Yeah, definitely not my thing, but... I do wonder about the greaves, because I'm trying to wear really, really heavy greaves to make up for the fact that everything else is so light. Mm. Crucible stuff is significantly heavier than the other stuff, though, and consequently better at literally everything. Except weight, of course. How does it look, though? Like, it's not... It's not that much better, is it? Actually, it's quite a bit better than that. This one's closer. This one's higher. The Lindell Knight Greaves. What about Gelmir? Mm, Gelmir's pretty much the same. Yeah, does it look a bit more elegant? Let's less clunky. Let's see. Mm. I don't know. It looks kind of rusty, which I don't like. This isn't bad, though. It's got kind of a golden hue. These are just... Mm, I don't like those. I'm going to stick with the Crucible stuff, though. You know, normally I wouldn't mind chilling in lava, but I don't have any healing.
I need to leave. Hmm. <laughs> There's only one thing I can think about doing about this. Actually, no, two things. We have some raw meat dumplings. Awesome. Disgusting. I also have some heal over times. That plus the shield. No, no, I'm not going to make it. Fuck. Okay. Let's try. Oh. Uh... I mean, what am I... Uh, I have no healing left. I have no choice but to get there right now or I'm dead. Oh. Ah, oh, Christ. Is there something I can craft that would heal me? Well, I should probably make some more of these neutralizing boluses. Just good to have them always. But I don't think I can make dumplings myself. No, I don't think any of this will heal me. Unless, like, perfume? Reduce incoming damage? Oh, damage. <laughs> incoming damage once is reduced. God, there's a stake because I'm surely going to die. Hmm, comet, or should I just go all in on the laser beam? Given that I'm probably going to die, I think laser beam. It doesn't even reach! I was doing so well.
Bloodhound Knight Flow. Oh, and a chest. Spirit of a Bloodhound, Bloodhound Knight they called the Rabid Stray will attack without pause immediately after being summoned. Flo vowed that there was only one lord he would serve, a true king. And so the rabbit stray never found a master. Death root. Oh yeah, I had another death root. That, so I think I have two now that I need to give to Gronk. Two death roots. Hand over death root. Not gonna attack me again, are you? Be a good boy. Thanks. Tarnished. Death. My sin should not be touched by the hand of man. I shall grant thee my cause. Feed me more. <laughs> Stone of Garonk and Beast Claw. I shall grant thee, feed me. Now, did this use arcane? What was the deal with those? Oh, they're incantations, right. They take very little faith, but they do take faith. That seems like such cool attacks. Anyway, you've been a very, very good boy. You're beautiful. Okay, back to exploring around here. Not touching those puppers. Yeah, that spike over there goes to another chunk of land. Might lead all the way up there, actually. Is this a dead end over this way? No, it looks like you can go at least this far back. Oh, are they throwing lightning pots? Yeah. Oh no, don't. No. Oh. I think they're all tending to their wounded. Oh, it's the side of grace over there.
Hmm, pulley bow. It's not a great bow or a light bow, just a bow. Normal bow, I guess. 11 strength, 11 dex, quite modest requirements. Good range, 55. That's, I think, some of the highest, maybe the highest I have, actually. None of these actually have 55 except that. Longbow, which utilizes a series of pulleys and springs. The complex mechanism, which required advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft. Uh, that's the same description as the harp, was it? No. There was something that had that similar description. Oh, this one. The pull oh, yeah, it's like the same thing, but in crossbow form. So, the pulley bow. Enhances precision while shooting, enabling arrows to fly much further distances. Oh, I need some arrows. I want to see this thing work. Oh, it's very pretty. Mighty shot. Let's get that side of grace. Is that a... Oh no, it's another bird! Sorry. Oh. Is that a ladder? Or just a look... No, it is a ladder. First Mount Gelmir's Gelmir campsite. Oh, you got a puppy next to you. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Don't jump too far back. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, that way. That way. Yeah, loyalty. Hmm. Master? Yeah, we've actually already been down here. And I didn't need to kick this ladder down to make it a shortcut or anything, so this must have been a ladder that I just forgot about or never noticed in the first place. We've already been there. Okay, well then, there's just one way to go. Over here. Oh, there's a ladder. Whoa. Scavenger's curved sword. Oh, causes blood loss buildup. Mm, 14 dex, a little bit of a dex weapon. Oh, that thing looks nasty. Unique curved sword notched like shark's teeth. Weapon carried by corpse pillagers who prowl the sites of old battles. The blade is tacky with blood and covered in hefty nicks, making it totally uneven. Life can be sinister indeed. 
Yeah, ooh. Haven't forgotten about the ladder. Um, nope, seems like I have to go there, actually. There's a lot of ladders here. Worry of Archer. In between Lindell soldiers and I guess marionettes. Well, not just marionettes. We've also seen the Iron Virgins, I think, killing them. So just like Academy made stuff. It's like Rhea Lucaria versus Lindell or something. Is that deep rumbling noise? This stuff that's smoking, or is it something else? Ah, welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way. Right this way. Fancy finding you here. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please. I got you. I mean, I could buy, I could literally buy your entire store, I'm pretty sure. Well, some of the things I think they have unlimited of, because there's no numbers attached to them. But I'll take your stone sword key, I'll take your cookbook. Wait, what does it make? Volcano pot and roped volcano pot. Sounds cool. Guilty hood. Coarse hooded cloak of olive brown. The garb of these of those accused of lesser crimes indicated by the collar of sharpened branches. And confessor stuff. Oh, so that's the stuff the confessor class would start with. That was one of the starting classes you could choose. Black hood for blending in with the darkness worn by church confessors. The church is outside the lands between, dedicated to the teachings of the two fingers, send confessors out to follow the guidance of grace. Confessors are loyal servants to the two fingers, ready to hunt down and quietly dispose of their enemies. I'll just buy that whole set. Hmm. 
Mm, not my thing. Aside from that, the only other thing I'm interested in are the gloves. Confessor gloves. Mm, no. Well done, Snake. Oh yeah, I think this is that area I was trying to get to. What does the other letter come up? Ah, right here. And is there anything down there of significance? What's that? Oh, there's a... Oh, that's just like some of those winged uh, avionettes with like lava pots or something. Yeah, I don't think there's any need to go down there. They've gone kind of mad here. There's yellow embers everywhere. I just saw them using something that made their eyes glow. Yep, their eyes are glowing too. More Shabriri grapes. That's so satisfying when it hits them continuously. The assault on Volca Volcano Manor. The squalid, the sick, the blasphemous. A wretched, unending war with no glory. Yeah, that's the Spirit Spring in the Side of Grace, and this is the bridge that we saw from... I think we were looking from that stone over there. A sound of... Hooves on wood is so satisfying. Okay. So, hmm. Didn't actually mean to rest there. That's going to respawn the enemies. But yeah, there's a spirit spring up and a very, very, very long ladder. And we can also continue over there. Hmm. Let's check out this area first. Oh. Oh, hi. Full-grown falling star beast. Oh my god! It literally... Like, this is the crater. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, you're so cool. Oh 
Okay, I want to laser beam it, but what are the chances of it staying in one place? Oh, it's so cool, though. Alright, I'm, I'm going to try comedying it. Nah. No, 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 no. Another try. No. Another try. No, no, no. Get out of there. Oops, I didn't mean to drink FP, but that's fine. I meant to feed you raisins. There you go. Oh, it's chattering. Look at it chattering. Wait, did you like... Did your AI break or something? Uh... Hmm. Really can't turn. There you go, you woke up. Such a cool creature. Some more smithing stone, bunch of normal smithing stone sixes. Falling star beast jaw. It's a weapon. So pretty. So you could fall over to this side if you wanted to. Volcano Manor. So that's one way to get to Volcano Manor. Let's take a look at that weapon. a jaw. What would that be? A club? Colossal weapon. Gravity bolt is the special. Mm, oh, interesting. It's kind of a combination strength int requirement, which is a very odd combo. Probably not very common. Yeah, that's a lot of strength. Um, it's super heavy. 21.5. I mean, it's a colossal weapon. Part of a falling star beast's jaw, hard and shining black, fashioned into a weapon. With its sharp point, this colossal weapon can skewer foes. Cool. Quick attack, strong attack. And will it let me do the special? Mm. Not really. I think I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to continue on from the 9th Mount Galmere campsite and see what's up here.